Answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Via the wonders of technology, I take you now to the future, to 2011, to Australia with Caroline and Richard, we've called in. Bob Chapman's coming up. The calls will continue. Max Kaiser, as we go into the fourth hour today, will be joining us. It's been past 9 o'clock in France. But over in Australia, I, I want to answer Caroline's question. She she asked the question and then handed the phone over to Richard. But first, before I do that, uh, her, her question was, how are they going to have a police state in Australia? And the answer is, it's already going into place. And I'll illustrate that uh, here in just a moment. Uh, but uh, Richard, finishing up... Yes, uh, people buying silver, showing that they, the big banks have been shorting the market and manipulating uh, physical. Uh, that is really starting to become evident, and they are concerned about it. Uh, so give us your take on that. Well, it's, 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 a, it's a massive trend, and, uh, you know, like uh, as much as uh, I, I totally concur with uh, your point of view on so many matters, um, I think that there's what will happen out of this is that there's just going to be uh, a total uh, re-enlivenment of society from this when this thing collapses, and it's got to collapse. A bit like the uh, you know, the uh, Muslim religion doesn't have usury or doesn't have interest. It just it just goes to nothingness. It is nothingness, and it, and it gets back to a, a reality-based, community-based system. I mean, permaculture, all these ideas. I'm I'm a, I'm a vermiculturalist, meaning. A worm farmer. I'm about to roll out a global worm farm business across the world with some Swedish uh, and Swiss backing. Uh, you know, uh, they're all into the metals and stuff. We're, we all know what's going on. The world knows what's going on. Well, that's um, what I'm saying. Listen, listen. I can get off a street in in Honduras. I can get off in Canada, England, and and literally now. It's not, oh, you know, walk down a street for 20 minutes. One one listener comes over. Now it's. A lot of people, and, and again, I'm just one indicator of that. People are really awake, and it's accelerating. That's right. That's right. And uh, look, you know, it, it, it's it's just something that is just going to to uh, overwhelm these guys. I mean, I, I put it down not uh, to, not to use uh, two better words. We're going to say uh, two big elephants. One's uh, called uh, ethical capitalism. The other's called uh, debt-based servitude capitalism. Debt-based servitude capitalism is about to be crushed. It's getting old. It's about to die to the other elephant. Um, it's the only other. It's the only other way we can go, other than war. Well, you said it very well, uh, beautifully said. I wish I was that eloquent. Uh, good to hear from you. Uh, very exciting, Richard, and, and God bless you and Caroline. I hope you two are having a great time in the early morning hours. I'm sure you're drinking a few Guinness over there to uh, help you through the uh, very painful evening. Uh, but uh, getting serious to answer her question, this is what they've done in Australia. They staged some shootings, what was it, 12 years ago, 13 years ago, and it came out they were staged. They did a few stunts like they went and killed Crocodile Dundee, the real Crocodile Dundee. He looks just like the, the actor. They went to his house. He wouldn't turn his guns in, killed him. He, he killed a few of the cops in the process. Uh, you know, they, they, they banned a lot of guns. Uh, I can play the newscast where they've taken half, it was right at half, of the forest, 40% of the farmland, uh, off use with the carbon taxes. Uh, they just said, you've, you've owned this sheep farm in your family for over 100 years in one case. A uh, guy was doing a hunger strike. I never saw how that ended uh, up on a tower. They just say, sorry, no more. Uh, they say to, to, to pass our carbon credits and, uh, uh, internationally, we're going to take half the forest, 40% of the grassland, off use. Now, they tried to implement it. People revolted. The government got thrown out. And so they said, okay, we're only coming back then with part of that. No, you got to get rid of all of it. See, they always say, oh, we'll compromise. Just give us a little. We'll compromise. Give us a little. But they never get pushed back. They're putting in the high-tech grids. you got political correctness. They're bringing in foreigners. Not that foreigners are bad themselves, but they're brought in to be your cops and your rulers. Look at Sydney. I've, I've looked at that. you got a bunch of foreigners ruling over you. Same thing here. You know, they bring them in from dictatorships, and they love it. So uh, you got tyranny over there just like we do, and you got a lot of other stuff going on, but Aussies are great people, and you're waking up. Hi, this is Alex Jones. You've heard me talk about the delicious, easy-to-fix, and very storable foods from eFoodsDirect.com. 
I've told you for years that eFoods Direct has the best storable food on the planet. Now it's that time of year again, and their holiday special is here. They have two holiday price packs for you to put into your reserves for a secure future or to share with others. The first is a six-month bulk supply in 10 cans. And the second is a five-week supply of quick and easy-to-fix meals, including delicious bakery items shipped in heavy tote bags. Now, for a limited time, when you order two or more of these special holiday packs, you'll get free shipping on your entire order. Call now, 800-409-5633, or visit them at efoodsdirect.com forward slash Alex. That's 800-409-5633, or efoodsdirect.com forward slash Alex. Hundreds of nations have fallen to tyranny in the last century alone. This is our last chance to not relive history. As we're finishing off this agenda, uh, they'll be pulling the rug from underneath Americans at home. They have tremendous influence on our president and Congress, and they really are calling the shots. I think it's incumbent upon all of us as American citizens to pay attention. Fall of the Republic identifies the enemies of our nation. The criminal offshore cartel hell bent on destroying sovereignty and on its ashes constructing world government. Tim Geithner, Bernanke, they're arsonists. They're asking for more matches. And the Congress is saying, who do we make the check out to? Today seems like nobody does care. And right now in Washington, D.C., we have seen a fall of the Republic. Get your copy of Fall of the Republic on DVD at Infowars.com or watch it online right now in super high quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. Hello, friends. This is Alex Jones. You've heard me talk about Calbin Five Star Soaps for years. This is an American-made product of the highest quality and compares to nothing you will find in stores. You can buy factory direct, shipped via UPS right to your door. Check them out on the web at FiveStarSoap.com. Or call 800-340-7091. Take my word for it. Once you've used pure soap, you won't buy anything else. Since 1947, Calvin Soap Company has been showing consumers that soap can be tough on dirt and gentle on the environment. Buy American and stay clean, as well as support InfoWars. Visit 5starsoap.com today or call 1-800-340-7091. Well, Marty, what do you have to say? As founder and owner for over 63 years, satisfaction is guaranteed or double your dirt back. Call us at 1-800-340-7091 for a free catalog or visit our website, 5starsoap.com. Thank you. He's the T-Rex of political talk. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Well, for the next 52 minutes, the one, the only, Bob Chapman of TheInternationalForecaster.com is going to be riding shotgun. Then we got Max Kaiser popping in for 30 minutes in the next hour talking about the economy. Now, I've got a bunch of crazy important news. I've covered some of it, but I want to recap some of the top stories, cover some of the other issues, just throw them out at Bob and get his take on it. I mean, some real lawlessness by the government. And every day I'm pinching myself like I'm dreaming. I cannot believe that Congress did not pass uh, the new uh, greenhouse gas takeover. Uh, I mean, I'm glad they didn't pass it. I knew we could beat it. That's not my, that's not what I mean by that. I can't believe that they didn't pass it. And then uh, the EPA came into Texas and said, we're going to basically start shutting down your power plants. We're going to issue new permitting standards that are impossible to comply with. I mean, that is amazing. Totally lawless. Just like Dr. Paul Craig Roberts said uh, 30 minutes ago, and I did see this in the news last week, uh, Gates, the head of the Defense Department, said, we don't care if polls show two-thirds, 60-plus percent are against the war. And those are even spun polls. It's worse than that. It's got to be in the high 70s, are against the Afghan war. I mean, every former Special Forces commander, like Anthony Schaefer I have on, is against it because there is no objective. There's no public objective because the real objective is a black hole for trillions in opium, trillions in weapon sales over the last decade. It's coming up on that uh, here in about eight, nine months. It'll be a decade. Uh, and about controlling the natural gas in that area more than there even is in the United States. What was the last estimate at the time of 9-11? Four trillion in natural gas, not counting oil. And now in an inflation, I guess that's more like six, seven trillion. So 
This is a lawless, out-of-control government. We're going to talk about that. But I want to do this a little different. We always wait to take calls the last 10, 15 minutes with Bob. Then we got to hurry through them. I know Bob loves taking calls, so uh, my New Year's present for him uh, is, is uh, we'll go to calls right away. But briefly, Bob, what do you think some of the most important issues of 2010 were, and what do you see coming up in 2011? Well, I think uh, 2010 more or less speaks for itself. Uh, it was a dreadful year, uh, but it's going to be worse this coming year. And uh, I think the scandals that were exposed are high on the list. Uh, we just had uh, uh, Mr. Ratner uh, pay a $10 million fine for uh, getting payoffs. Uh, we have the FBI chasing down scores of people and uh, putting them uh, under prosecution. Uh, the, the criminality is rife all through the corporate world, unfortunately, and I don't have to tell you about the politicians and uh, the people on Wall Street uh, who are deeply in in implicated in uh, the takedowns that are going on now and inside of trading. But it, 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 it's going to grow much bigger than that uh, because uh, they're going after uh, J.P. Morgan Chase and, and HSBC, about 30 class action lawsuits, one of them RICO. And now they've uh, they got a class action against uh, uh, the silver ETF, SLV. Uh, it should be held a pop in this coming year because a lot of these cases are going to drag over for one or two years. So corruption, number one. Number two, the manipulation of markets. Uh, you know, we're looking at a Dow that's uh, trading at 11,600 that shouldn't be. Uh, everybody in, in the country is catching on who is an investor that the markets are rigged. And it's got to stop. Uh, we have to have... Uh, free enterprise. We have to have free and open markets. That's not what we got. We got corporatist fascism, and uh, that's what the Federal Reserve and its owners and its figurehead, Ben Bernanke, are all about. Uh, just because he came from an ivory tower doesn't, uh, doesn't mean he doesn't know how to operate like the mob. Well, and we saw exactly a lot of other things are. happen. We saw the WikiLeaks this year. We saw uh, Madoff uh, come and go. Uh, I mean, we have just seen uh, so much happen. But uh, do you agree with me that th this has been the greatest acceleration of awakening in 2010 we've ever seen to the Federal Reserve, to the New World Order, to the TSA? I mean, that's when people really have stopped laughing at folks that talk about corruption. And they either say, yeah, let's fight it, or there's nothing you can do about it. But at least... Uh, no matter what their attitude is, they admit there's a serious problem. Uh, that is very positive. Uh, the recognition process, and that's what you and others who have programs like yours are pointing out, and uh, that's what the Internet is bringing to us, the WikiLinks and the extension of that uh, and, and how they went about it, uh, the quality of what they came out with. But, but it's an ongoing process. And we are making great strides. The coming year, uh, gold and silver are going to go through the roof. The market will eventually go down. Uh, interest rates unofficially uh, will go a little higher. Uh, they'll try to hold them down as long as they can. And uh, there's going to be some real surprises in the second half of the program. I'm going to talk about something that corporate America is trying to get away with. And uh, it's the theft of almost $700 billion, and so that puts it in the, the, the mega class. It certainly does. And with that, uh, let's now go to your phone calls. Uh, let's go ahead and talk to James in Michigan. You're on the air, James. Hey, how you doing, Alex and Good. Bob Chapman? Good. Uh, yeah, I just want to bring up about 10 and 11. Uh, 2010 was the year uh, that we exposed, woke up people, um, exposed the corruption, um, exposed that the government stepping over the Constitution. And what needs to be done for 2011 is we need to get like a donation fund, like the Alex Jones Donation for Liberty Fund. And what that would do is put uh, money in to use as far as like, uh, not bonuses, but like... Uh, um, funding for, like, people that will bring out the corruption of our government. 
as far as like uh, 